All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com or on Twitter at Anthony Smoke. Today, we are in Excel uh, focusing on Power Query. We're going to use Power Query, which is a free Excel add-in for 2010, 2013, and 2016. I'm in 2013. Uh, we're going to use Power Query to unpivot data. Right. So if you take a look at my data set, this is from the World Bank. I've got a city and then I have all of these uh, numeric values, which are rents, average rents charged in uh, the city across this time frame. If we were to scroll all the way across here. And so even if we take a look at uh, San Francisco here, uh, you really have to want that rent. Great city, San Francisco, but you really have to want it. But what I want from this data set, I want one column uh, with our dates in them and then I want another column with all of our values all of our rent values in them so uh, first thing again install Power Query free Excel add-in you're gonna select where where do you want to get your data from you're gonna select from table or range and then once you do that it's gonna bring it into the Power Query editor and I want to select use first rows as headers great everything comes up and then I'm going to highlight all of the uh, columns that I want to unpivot. I'm going to right click, select unpivot columns. And voila, there we go. As you can see, um, I'm going to change this to, uh, let's call this date values. Oops, date values. And we're going to call this rent uh, USD. And as you can see, I have all the uh, the cities here repeated, uh, all of the columns here repeated except for our uh, unpivoted ones. And having the data in this format, it just makes it much more uh, uh, easy to perform other analyses. Um, I can take this data and I can turn it back into uh, the uh, the cross tab format that you saw earlier. Right? It's very it's difficult to take the cross tab format and perform other analyses on that data. If your data is in this uh, more normalized format, uh, it's a lot easier to use to perform analyses. So uh, one last thing I'll show you here. I could right click on my values and I could select transform and it's going to give you all of uh, these different uh, options. Uh, let's take a look at the at the uh, numeric ones. I can round. I can perform all of these different uh, transformations. I could even perform text transformations on, uh, on numeric uh, data. Uh, you can trim, take off the leading and trailing spaces, clean, take out unprintable uh, uh, characters, and I could show the length uh, for each column if that was uh, if that was something that I wanted to see, I'm going to select close and load and it should bring it back into Excel in this uh, nice table. So now you can take this, import it into a database. Again, just go off and do nice uh, analyses uh, with the data in this format. So uh, this has been Anthony Smoke, just giving you a little tip here uh, to use Power Query. It's a, it's a handy Excel add-in. Go ahead and take this tip, get out there and do some, uh, some good things with your data. Thanks.